very, very important that um, six local municipalities in the Eastern Cape, plus two metros, Buffalo City and Nelson Mandela Bay Metro. These uh, municipalities are stretching from the eastern part of the Eastern Cape, the Bizana local municipality, Port St. John's, King Sabata, Dalinkebo, and then you go to across the Buffalo City, Mushwa municipality, Zambe, and Koha. Three in each side are anchored around a metro. So there are three that are anchored around Buffalo City, three are anchored around the um, we are Nelson Mandela Bay Metro. We have arranged as SALCA with the Federation of Canadian Municipalities partnership arrangement with other six municipalities um, in Canada. And the focus um, of this is around um, uh, local economic development, uh, climate change related issues, asset management. But key stakeholders that are very important are women, youth, and disabled. So the importance of the seminar is bringing about all these uh, partners, both the Canadian delegation and the delegation from these uh, six municipalities plus two metros. And the focus, as we are following up the footstep of uh, the president of the country who said, we must now focus on the issue of fourth industrial revolution, but also looking into the issue of investment. So where they will learn is at the local space. So we are trying to make uh, the local uh, municipalities uh, ready for the investment, because investment can only happen when there are conducive conditions on the ground and that are supposed to be laid out by municipalities. So the importance of the seminar is exactly around the time of municipalities grabbing this opportunity to make conducive uh, conditions and also ready themselves uh, for this investment. Is the number going to grow of the municipalities that are part of this program um, over, the coming, over the coming years? Yeah, the, the six municipalities, we are talking about a pilot. Yes. And when you are looking into the line of these municipalities, they are along the coast. And there is another number of municipalities in between that are not touched by this particular program. Yeah. What we are saying is that we are going to come up with a forecast approach in terms of, first of all, the oceans economy that is talked about. And then there are municipalities in between your um, Moza yeah. in the eastern side, your Nyande, your Mbashe, yeah. your Mnuma, um, but also on this side of um, the eastern Cape, uh, the Kokama. So that you are talking about all the municipalities that are stretching along the coast, the coast so that they can benefit to this Bakisa program. Yeah which is focusing on the ocean economy. So you will group municipalities so we will according group to different projects? These municipalities yes. that are partnering in this um, um, B, big M, yeah. but also with also other municipalities that are along the coast. But there are also other high impact um, uh, projects like uh, your N2 um, that we are also going to target and say how did these municipalities identified but after identification as it has already been done by province and national how do we then link them to this bigger picture of the national and provincial uh, government so there is that particular intention but there are also other initiatives like the one of the small town revitalization that we also uh, started as salka and also the Karu initiative. All of those initiatives, we are finding a way of linking all of them for the benefit of bigger number of municipalities, not only the six. Now, um, as we conclude, the issue of investors and investments coming into um, our local communities, um, 
it's been like you said, I mean, it's quite, quite, it's quite been a big issue here. In the main, what, what came out in terms of the constraints that need to be addressed uh, within the local municipalities in the Eastern Cape for them to be able to, to attract investors? We are copying from other initiatives, as I have already indicated. There is a program that is very close to this one, which is called Small Town Revitalization. Uh, it was having its own conference last year, where there are four provinces in South Africa that are affected. Now, what we have picked up is that uh, the issue of stability in the municipality is very critical. So, if you want to to, to, to attract investors, there must be uh, political stability. But also administratively, you must try by all means to retain and attract skills. Another area is that the policies that we are having as municipalities must be conducive for, invest for investors to come. Remember, investors have got a lot of choices. They can go to any country. They can go to any province. They can go to any municipality if conditions are conducive. But another area where we are saying is a challenge is the issue of infrastructural development and infrastructural maintenance. We have also predicted that and we are going to focus on that in terms of assistance to municipalities. And the last one that we are also encouraging municipalities to take serious intent, uh, attention to is the issue of financial management and financial accountability. Because there is no investor who can take the money and invest in an area where they don't account, uh, especially to the Auditor General and other spheres of government. So clean uh, books are very, very important for investors to come and invest in that particular um, municipality.